So um, please remember that uh, whenever you first learned about parabolas, you probably learned um, y equals x squared. And they showed you what that looked like. And it looked something like this. All right, so that's y equals x squared. And we saw that um, if we made it uh, negative x squared, then it was going to look like this. So that turned it upside down. All right, now, so just I want you to hold that in the front of your mind. That's what it looks like when we have y equals x squared. Now, please understand that um, in the models we're going to be doing today, we're going to be looking at the equation written around in the other direction, more like x squared equals y. Um, but that's still the same thing, okay? It's still the same thing. Um, now, if you ever see an equation that uh, has the y squared instead of this normal x squared like we're used to. If you see one that has y squared equals x, all right, how would we even put this in the calculator? You know what I mean? If you, if you go to enter an equation, it already has y equals, and uh, so you could put in x squared. Um, but if you saw y squared, how would you even put this in the calculator? If you see something weird like this, um, that means it's sideways. All right, it's either leftward facing or rightward facing, okay? So, this still applies if I have um, something added or subtracted. So, if I had, for example, um, x minus 3 squared is equal to 12 times uh, y plus 1. Um, this is still the x being squared, and if the x is squared, um, it's going to be either up or down. Okay, we know that it's going to be up because the 12 is positive. On the other hand, um, if we had, say if we had y minus two squared is equal to um, 13 times x plus four. Now the y is being squared. You know what, let's make it negative 13. Um, when the y is being squared, you know it's going to be sideways. So it's either going to be facing to the left or facing to the right. Um, because the 13 is negative, um, I know it's going to be facing to the left because that's the negative direction. So it would be like this. So to summarize, put the equation in vertex form. If the x is being squared, the parabola either opens up or down. If the other side has a positive coefficient, it opens up. Otherwise, it opens down. All right. So, in other in other words, if it has a if the other side is negative, um, then it opens down. If the y is being squared, the parabola opens left or right. If the unsquared side is positive, it opens right. If the unsquared side is negative, it opens left. Here endeth the lesson.